Hi guys, Scott here from Tepes Paranormal and welcome back to another Reddit video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at r slash ghosts on Reddit and we're going to look at the top videos for this month. I'm going to go through them, look at a few, we'll go over the videos and we'll just talk about what we think they are. I'll give my thoughts and I'll get your thoughts in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's start with this video here. Posted by user dkit7517 days ago. This is a few days ago, something pushed our dog across the floor when my son was playing with him. He turned around and barked at whatever it was. So let's watch the video. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So that's a dog barking. Um. The dog's obviously being... The dog's barking at something. And it does seem to slide across the floor with... With very little of its own force there. It doesn't look at anything back here. And I assume if something had actually pushed it from back here it would look. Um, it doesn't look like the dog moves on its own. It does look like it just suddenly slides. Um, an odd video. But... Yeah, I don't really know what to think of that. The dog does seem to just slide. So I think the key thing there is that the dog clearly is confused and slightly taken back by what happens. The dog seems surprised and continues barking. It's not like a familiar person had pushed it and the dog just looked at them. Um, but yeah, the dog was obviously distressed by what was happening. And it, it's an odd video of which I can't give an explanation. Moving on, we have a post by user Space and Flowers who posted this photo of a ghost caught at the Children's Museum. So let's open it up full screen. I'm looking at the picture to see. Um, I don't see anything obvious. Let's just go full screen. Nothing down there. Nothing up on the balcony. Ah, okay. So that'll be what we're looking at here, will be these handprints and slight silhouette of a figure up in the window up here. My initial thought is that the angle doesn't seem right. Um, the angle of the two hands and the face don't seem proportionate to the angle of the glass. Whether that's a shadow, or whether that's just a really sort of dirty handprint lean that's been lent there it could even be something on the wall in behind um again nothing obvious but at the same time i don't know what it is my initial claim would be that it's photoshopped uh, based on the angle but again it may not be um yeah another interesting photo i don't know let me know what you think of this one I would initially go with it's been added in after the picture was already taken. And moving on again, we have A horse died in this pasture beside my house a couple of years ago. There are currently no animals in the pasture. This horse was black. This one appears to be white. Now this is by Reddit user RegularJoe500. So let's take a look at the video and see what we think. Okay, so it's obviously reasonably janky CCTV footage. Make sure it's in HD. That is. So it's CCTV footage, and there is a horse in the background. Now, okay. So that is obviously just a horse. Um, there's nothing ghostly about it. It walks from off frame, and it walks into the background, which is the distance of the light, uh, of the infrared light the camera's giving out. I recently watched a video on infrared lighting and how this sort of video is filmed from uh, Corridor Crew, which I will put in the description down below because I think it gives quite a good uh, understanding of how this works. So I would say that that is just an actual horse that's been captured and sort of walks into the distance and appears to fade but doesn't. Um, yeah, again, the quality is not great. I think that is just a real horse. Moving on again, we have this post by Reddit user lousy mouse or losy mouse uh, my son was napping yesterday and i looked at the monitor and saw this so 
we'll flick through the pictures. I'll go full screen. It's obviously this woman that is on the right hand side. Let's just get that in larger quality. Again, not a very good um, picture, very blurry. Like the, the quality of this picture is poor, but there would appear to be sleeping children there and a figure of some description standing over them. The figure to me looks almost young female. Um, instantly, my brain went to Kuchisake Ona, the sort of Japanese figure. I think it may just be the hair and the sort of mouth that seems to be quite pronounced. Let's just look at the other two pictures. I assume they're just, yeah, so they're just highlighting that. And drawing what they see. Good artistic impression there. But yeah, um, I don't know what it is. It could be overlapping footage. It could just be that the recorder's not doing a very good job of dealing with uh, overwriting existing media. It could be there's a ghost in the shot. Um, I, I'm not really sure. I don't know enough about it and the quality is not good enough for me to really tell. But it is a very creepy image. Moving on again, we have this from user Emily Sings 3 Now in this, they got a notification of motion on their home security camera last night at 1.32am. And this is what they saw. They were in bed, still awake, when their camera caught this. They didn't hear any sounds from the hallway, and they live alone. They're convinced their house is haunted, and they just moved in last week. What can they do? That's a whole-ass person. That doesn't look... That doesn't look like it's any sort of camera effect. It doesn't look fake. To me, that genuinely looks like a person. Um... There's no, that I can see, there's no transparency. That might be, it doesn't help the picture's not great quality. That could be floorboard showing through the figure. Or it could just be a shadowy arch on the back, which would be correct. It looks like there's long hair, and that the hair almost fades down the back of a white or a brightly coloured gown. Um, my initial first point of call with this would be someone has broken into the house. Let's look at the second picture. Okay, so I assume this fades, potentially. Um, okay. This first picture is particularly startling, because again, that is a real person. This person has a very good post. Check the place for void spaces, make sure there's no one living in there. Generally, make sure there's no one there, because I can't think of any paranormal explanation for this other than it's a very very high quality full body apparition alternatively and much more likely unfortunately is that there's someone living hidden in your house or has broken into your house at night um let me know what you think on this picture in the comments below because th that just is a person as far as i'm concerned that is just a real living human okay moving on again we've got this post from user just my opinion seven what does this look like to you I wasn't home and my family was downstairs. Got a text asking if I was upstairs and I said I'm not even home. So this is the nursery camera's caught movement. That to me looks looks like a person a person's hand reaching into what looks like a kid's room. Oh, evidently nursery. Um I would say that's a person that's a sleeve with an arm or a hand coming out. I'd, yeah, again, similar to the previous one. If it's definitely not someone from the household. Um, I would distinctly check that there's no one broken into the house. Um, other than that, if they didn't then enter the room, which I assume the nursery cam would have detected if they had, I don't really know. I'd have also checked the sound if it were me personally. Um, yeah, people seem to agree that it's just somebody entering the room. Not really a paranormal sort of thing in my mind. It's too clearly a person. Um, again, it could be a ghost. Who's to say ghosts can't be completely clear, but to me that's almost definitely just a person. Moving on again, we have poltergeist activity in my apartment. Details in comments. Let's watch the video before we look at the uh, details. So we're clearly in someone's home office set up here. Um, they have a monitor, they have all the sort of stand stuff, a chair, some towels in the background, which obviously shows you it is definitely a home environment. Um, let's see what happens. Well, that's a person. Person breathing in my ear. Slightly weird. Oh, 
Okay. What the fuck? What? Okay, sorry for the profanity in the video there, but let's watch that back. Now I know the audio is not part of it, we'll alleviate that. Okay, so I didn't initially notice that. Um, so the picture on the wall seems to move. It seems to swing loosely back and forth before coming to a stop. It could be a loose screw or a loose nail holding it up and that it's just moved along it, but it seems unlikely. There is a vent in the corner. Again, I find it unlikely a breeze would move just that when there are other things nearby. There's no inclination that the paper down here is moving, which it would, I believe, if it was a draft. Um, heavy vibration on the wall, if that picture's not secured fully, could lead to it moving. That wouldn't be unlikely or impossible by any stretch. Um, then I believe the chair moves. So we, we don't get a very long shot here. That doesn't... There's no obvious string, I say. I don't know what that is there. Um, there's no obvious sort of string or anything, but it'd be very easy for there to be just a piece of thin twine around the chair there, and whoever's over here is just likely tugging on that to make that turn. Again, a draft probably wouldn't do that, depending on how stable the chair is. You know, if the chair naturally swings around one way because one of the wheels is lower than the others, etc., that could explain that as well. Um, and any sudden bangs or movement could cause it. Alternatively, it could very much be a poltergeist moving that. That would be within the realm of possibility, I would say. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure other than that. Moving on again, we have a post by user Accomplished Deer 714 who says, an image of what appears to be my deceased cousin in the background years after her passing. Photo is of her best friend and other cousin who claimed nobody was behind them at the time. What is this? So, well, right, okay. Um, right, good. I mean, there's clearly a person there. That That is, that is a full... That's a full human being. That's not an apparition, that is a person. Um, I'm not sure what that is behind them there. But that's a person. Okay, what's the other? I guess the other picture is the deceased cousin. Right. Um, let's just get a side by side up there. Well, I don't think that's the same person. I, I'm not. I'm not confident that is the same person anyway. But what are the comments saying? Um, okay. Yeah, the issue is that it could be photoshopped because it's heavily compressed. Yeah, I'm confident that that is either photoshopped or just a person behind them. Um, moving on again, we're going to go to this one, which is by user Tobey67, and this is of security camera caught some figures while office was empty. Well, that's a spider. That's a spider dropping down on a web um, without any sort of other content. You can see the web there. There, there is some more webbing on the web. I would guess that's the web swinging towards the camera, possibly eggs or something on the web, or just thick bits of webbing. That just is a spider. There's there's no if ands or buts about that. That's not a person, that's a spider. Moving on again, we have user LL Benjamin, who posted, Whilst out at a party, my security camera picks up someone or thing audibly and visibly, flick off a light switch, then flick it back on again. Let's go full screen with it and have a look. So there's a cat, there's the light going off. And there's the light coming on again, okay. I'm gonna watch it again with the audio this time because I forgot to unmute it. Okay. 
yep so you can hear you can hear the click of the light switch yep agreed and you hear it switch back on yeah agreed I mean, there's not a lot we can do with this video without seeing the light switch, knowing where it is, etc. Um, the cat doesn't seem to react, which would imply to me that either the cat's very used to people being in the house, there was someone the cat knows there, or that the cat just hadn't noticed, but other than that, I'm not really sure. Update on the possible poltergeist activity we previously looked at. This was um, the post by the user whose name I don't think I read out, amrv underscore five. Uh, the previous one with the picture and the chair moving. So let's see. Let's look at the details in the comments first. They're back again. Home alone tonight. So they try to do a test of the vents in their room like a couple of people suggested. Uh, they don't know what to think. The boot could have been their neighbours fucking with them. But they honestly don't know how to explain the picture frame. They took everything down on the walls and now they're sitting in the kitchen with every light on. Okay, right, let's give this a watch then. I'm intrigued. This is two minutes long, so we're going to sit down, watch this. I'll pause throughout and discuss what happens. Um, this is our vent test. Um, we have about uh, a minute until the heat's supposed to cycle on. Um, we're going to see if that does anything uh, to move, a, move the picture frame. Good test. I'm going to jump through the video because there's not a lot going on. There's an ambulance or something in the distance. That was loud. That was very loud. There is a boot. I'm guessing there's supposed to be two boots. And that that one has taken a tumble down the stairs. Now something else is banged. What was it? The picture's fallen off the wall. Okay. Um. Um. Um, the heat did not come on yet. The fear sounds genuine in this person's voice. There's nobody in the reflections. There's nobody obviously in the room that I've seen. I um, don't know where we're going now, but some sort of adventure. Okay. Okay, so there's a lot to go with here. Um, the initial thing that got me with the bang that you heard for the boot You don't hear any footsteps afterwards or before the boot, which, if the boot has been thrown by a person, there's no other person could have gone that wouldn't have involved them going down the stairs. And you hear when this when she's walking, um, the floor's very creaky, the floor's very loud, which again makes me think there wasn't a person there, it wasn't moved by a human. This is definitely one of the more believable videos I've seen on here. Um, the timing of the picture falling down gives me either it's intentional and, you know, produced, or that somebody is, um, or something, sorry, some sort of poltergeist is fucking with the person. It's not very often I find an update video when I'm looking through these, so this is quite an interesting thing to find. Um, my initial claim for this was that it was faked. I think I'm now retracting that, and I think this could be genuine, based solely on the fear in her voice and the the shoe moving. Um, there's nothing when the picture falls to make me think it's faked. I really don't know what to think with this. 
Um, I'd really like to get your comments down below. Let me know what you think of this one specifically, because I am at a slight loss here. I genuinely don't know. Okay, so moving on again, we have this post by user Beerus G O W, and this is the unedited version of Shadow Arm post. Now, I've not seen the edited version of Shadow Arm post. Um, the OP posted a video zoomed in. You can click it by seeing by clicking this link. Shadow Arm knocks over heavy ostrich egg. So this is a clip of it being isolated and moved. Right. So it it falls. Okay, so now let's watch the unedited version. It's there. Let's turn that off so we don't get copyright struck. This is obviously a cat cam. Um, there's the egg. Falls off of its stand. The cat looks. The man, a little bit confused. Goes over, sees what it is. I want to see, is there a front on this cabinet? There is, okay. My initial thought was the cat may have knocked it previously and it was unbalanced, but the fact there's a door on the cabinet is a bit weird. Um, he's taking his time. Puts it there. It looks sturdy, looks stable. Um, okay, no obvious explanation in the video. Not really sure what caused it bit of a weird one. Um, it definitely falls. Again, it could have been unbalanced. It could have been previously moved, knocked, just waited until the right moment to fall. Um, but there's nothing there to say it wasn't paranormal, but there's also nothing obvious to say it was. Could have just been something moving. You know, the slightest vibration in the floor could have caused it to finally move. Um, there's nothing obvious there. Next up, we have a live photo posted by user Fate Trumps Fear, and this is what appears to be a small girl in the bottom left with a bonnet at the Sorrel Weed House in Savannah, GA. Might be Georgia, not sure. Uh, bottom left corner, did that say, sorry? Small girl, bottom left, right. Oh, um... Well, well, yeah, there, there, there is, yeah, th th I agreed. There's... Okay. I want the perspective from their phone. Um, let's get that zoomed in one more time there. They are taking a picture of that, the reflection in the background. That, I presume, to be the person taking this photo. Um, it doesn't stay zoomed in long enough to see if that reflection's there. It could be a kid with a hoodie on, as that top comment says. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, to me, that does look like someone in a bonnet, as opposed to a hoodie. It looks very fabricy instead of um, hoodie-like. Do I think that could have just been a person walking through the room? More than likely, that would be my initial um, guess. But again, I'll take your thoughts on it if you have any specific, but to me that probably is just a person walking. It could be a spirit though, it could be a um, bonnet child from the Soul Weed House. Let me know what you think. And we're going to look at a couple more. We've got this post by user Hutchy4496. Could be anything, but it's a bit spooky. So let's watch this. Okay. Um, A shadow of some sort passes in front of the camera. Um, I say a shadow, almost looks like a sort of wisp of smoke moving from right to left. No, no, I am going with a shadow actually. Oh, 
What I don't like about this and what makes me initially question it is there seems to be either a growl or a sort of hissing as it goes past the camera. Um, nothing obvious I can think of for it. My initial go-to there would be smoke or um, something, obviously someone moving in front of the camera. Could be an insect, but the noise makes me think it's either edited or it's um, something very strange. I am just going to see what the comments say for my own curiosity. Yeah, an insect is the most likely one here. Um, yeah, an insect would probably be a good claim. Then, moving on again, we've got this post by user Haunted Luca, who experienced an unexplained shadow that captured... Um, that experienced an unexplained shadow that triggers cap... An unexplained shadow capture triggers motion detection camera. Okay, does it come back again or is it just a one-time thing? Obviously records for 20 seconds when triggered. That... That's something moving from left to right over here. The most prominent source of light in this room would be this. Um, there doesn't seem to, looking around, be a lot coming from this direction to be casting a shadow from. Whatever it is moves from the far corner away from the camera towards the camera. It would end up to the left of the camera. I would say that's just a person without knowing the layout of the room and without knowing what the other source of light was. Um, I think it would be difficult to determine for sure. But yeah, my initial instinct there would be that was a person. So with that, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, let me know what you think on all of the videos I've gone over during this video. Let me know your thoughts on them down below. I will reply to comments. Um, if there's anything you want me to look at specifically, let me know as well. But for now, thanks for watching. I've been Scott and this has been Tepis Paranormal. I'll see you in the next video.